Ooh, this house is big in it. Whoa. Look! Look! I have to open it because they won't, like, who is it? But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you after leaving me out here. Come as a bitch, my friend. Hello, my name is Suroso, and today. Wait, 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 wait. This thing is trash. I can't lie. I've been slapping on the upload schedule. No boomy, no boomy, no boomy. I promise it was for good reasons. We do not care. But today we're back. After three weeks, we're gonna be playing Fears of Fathom, Woodbury Getaway. Let me set the scene. Sydney Harper, a 23 year old working at a consulting firm, plans a weekend getaway to a Woodbury rental with her college friends. Little did she know what was about to fold during their stay. If y'all don't know, Fears of Fathom was one of the first videos I released on this channel, and it did so well that I played the other ones, and we're getting into this one. This is the fifth and final one for the season, I heard. So let's get into it. Woohoo! You, you know how long I've been waiting about this? Yes, sir. Here's the Fathom episode five, Woodbury giveaway, December eighth. We're doing a winter one. Oh, it doesn't start off with the story. Need to get coffee. Wait, needed coffee to get the day done with. <laughs> Caffeine addiction already. I'm cooked. This firm has nobody in it. This is actually terrifying. But Ray LL, you stepped up your game. Look at this. This is so much better than all of them. It's so much atmospheric. Like. You can see buildings, you can look up the firm. All right, let me go get my coffee. This definitely looks to be the kitchen. Can't do nothing with these chips. I'm all by myself? Like, what's up with that? All right, let's brew some coffee. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta add the creamer. You guys know I love cream. Pause! Now we can make coffee. Yes, sir. And it like tastes so bland sometimes. Like, it either tastes too bland or too sugary. And I hate sugary things. Like, if it's overly sugar, I hate it. But, uh, needed to put a lid on it. Bro, what is this? Starbucks? Alright. I'm gonna get jump scared by somebody working with me, aren't I? Needed to use the restroom. But look at this. This is so fire. Ray LL, you stepped up your game. Alright. What is this? This looks like a locker room, if anything. I didn't know, like, corporate rooms were like that all right oh goodness nobody better not be in here i'm just trying to use the restroom oh my goodness that's crazy okay it's almost out though uh bro like i'm terrified what if i open the door and somebody's just out listen it's a dude it better be a janitor it better be a janitor Hey! Ah! Oh my goodness, the game just started. What are you doing in the- Oh, you're the janitor. Huh, bro. Ray LL got the jump scares on lock too. It's, it's already been five minutes and I'm getting scared. I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know you were in here. It's okay. I like to clean late because it's pretty late at quiet at this hour. You're working late again, huh? Yeah, well. You young folks sure do put in the hours. Make sure to take care of yourself. Thanks. You do well, sir. That was kind of scary, man. I can't lie, but I guess we can get back to work. I'm the only person at this firm, though. That's so creepy. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Let's get to it. Oh, like, if only this game came out in winter, it'd be... Whoa. What is he going on over here? Y'all heard the door open? No! How do I answer the phone? Oh, there we go. Uh, go for Sydney Harper. What does that go for Sydney Harper? Uh, I'll just say hello. Hey, Harp, it's Mike. What? Voice acting in Fears the Fathom? Again? Oh my goodness. There, he's Rayo loves using voice acting now. Okay, that's wonderful. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. 
Is everything all right? I was at the bathroom and there was this janitor. He just pulled up to the side. I don't know what that was about. Oh, snap. I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh. Bro, if you're in the friend zone and you know that you're in the friend zone, I would appreciate it if you didn't pursue me, if you don't mind. I'm just kidding. <laughs> bro, um. bro, no. Obviously, obviously this guy has something for Sydney. Bro, I don't want you if I haven't already said that. I, I promise you. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Just more overtime. I need a vacation. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Um... About our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. Bro, if you want me that bad, like, there's no shit, there's no shot this man hasn't already tried to confess to me and blah, 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 blah. Maybe I'm just yapping, but there's no shot this guy's already tried to confess to me and I haven't said no. No, I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Gotcha. Hey. What's up? Is Mike going to be like the weirdo? Thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Fuck no, baby! You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. I don't like the sound of that, but we have no option to say no, so sounds good. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, All right, bro. Uh, wait, one more thing. What? What is it, man? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Gotcha. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. I could just hang it up. I would, but I want to hear what more we had to say. Sure, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking. Actually, I'll let him talk. Remember that little cafe you found on our trip to Oregon? The Nook Cafe? Yeah. I miss those days, Harp. Bro. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. Yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right, bro. All right. Talk to you later, Harp. All right, so I have to book, I guess. Jeez. I hope they don't make me actually do work. What is this? Type invader reloaded. All right. Uh, wh oh, what the? Oh, so that's how this works. Wait, I can't even control where I look. I just have to type it fastly. Perfect. I'm good at typing, so I'm going to easily get this. Like my accuracy hasn't even went down either. Come on, man. That's too easy. Bruh. Ah. I, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. I, I haven't got touched yet either. There's so many aliens. What, what is this? Ah! Okay, I haven't got touched yet though, so we're good. And my accuracy is pretty high. This is actually pretty easy. Okay. Okay, I lost some health, but we're doing pretty good. Bro, like, what is this? Come on! L! L! Okay, we got it. Our accuracy is going down. Wait, did we do it? Oh my goodness, the car's right here. Okay, that was that was easy. I, I can't lie. Later. Goodness gracious. Oh, it's typing that for me. What the? It's actually typing that for me. That's crazy. Okay. Rent, rentacabin.com. Well, what do we got here? Rentacabin.com sounds like a crazy site, but post, search. Does it type? Okay, it types this for me too. Woodbury, search. Book cabin? It was over our budget. Oh, yeah, we have to go under 100. This should be good. A private cabin, a private Shane cabin in Woodbury. I didn't even look at it. I just booked it. Oh, this looks nice. Two bed. Bro, if you're telling me. Okay, wait, wait. 
I'm gonna sleep with Nora. If this man Mike tries to sleep in bed with me, he's getting a foot in his mouth. What did he say? Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands, of stories hit daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it's written weird, but I was rushed. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the health of my- that bad the Please, if y'all get a job, try your best to find one that is good for your mental and that pays well, like. I hear so many people talking about how a job messes them up mentally or they hate going to work so much. And I always try to have a positive attitude when I go into my own job, which makes my day better. So uh, I, basically, what I'm trying to say, hopefully you have a job that is mentally good for you and that you have enough positive attitude that you can make it work happy enough. I didn't even press that. I'm Sydney Harper and the story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike suggested that we take a weekend getaway to a rural Vermont, which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. All right. Is, am I in a car with Mike? Ooh, a brother. Woo! That still don't make you not weird. I can't lie to you, Mike. Like, you smiling a little too hard, bro. Who is this? Ah! Can I answer? Not it. Bro, I wanted to answer. Okay. Pulling into the parking garage now. You downstairs yet? Okay. I forgot my suitcase hat. Oh, bro, no. Wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, okay, now you can close. Mike, where you at? Hey, 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 you know where Mike is? You know where Mike is? Are you Mike? Hey, Mike. Bro, harp. Mike. All right, bro, you better not be weird. Dot, dot, dot. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you miss me? You're pushing it, Michael. Why does he low-key look like rhyme style? Look at this. I'll give you a longer hug, buddy. You look serious, my brother. I'm not even about to gas your head up. I'm gonna just say thanks for picking me up. Mike, you're in the friend zone. You're gonna stay in the friend zone. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have company on the way. The old truck brings back so many memories. Right. This bad boy's been through a lot. You can throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Okay, let me get the... Alright, Mike. Alright, Mike. Just chill off me. Alright then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Let's do this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, never mind. We can't get Nora. I, wanna, I wanted to explore this place a little bit because this looks so cool. Oh my goodness. 4.26pm. Oh, so it's pretty early. But it'd be pretty like dark outside because it's still winter time. I love winter time. That's the best season like oh this was in the trailer it was starting to snow like look how calm and chill it is that's why i love winter you can see the snowfall it's chill outside oh my goodness what do you want harp isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are trying to escape from the life we wanted to live we couldn't wait to get onto the real world Oh, you're kind of deep, Mike. I can't lie. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck sometimes. That's understandable. It's always going to suck. That's never going to change, sadly. Change is just as hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? Are you employed or anything? Like, we're working on this project that uses machines to pre marketing trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Oh, that's pretty good. What the heck? Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. Okay. You know, I never understood what consultants even do. Who's Rick Wilson? Uh, 
Uh, I guess I can explain. Dot, dot, dot. That sounds like important work. Very. What? Uh. Oh my goodness. It, bro, let me let me read. Oh my goodness, is that the Jeepers Creepers bus? Fuck out of here, nigga. Did you see that? See what? Bruh. There was a school bus by an old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read that people do that on the internet, so it's like a Fortnite bus. Okay, let me read. It's nearly 5 p.m. and I haven't received confirmation text from you. I just want to make sure it's checking everything's okay. The roads near Woodbury can be dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let- Bro! Let me read the text, Mike! Oh, snap. It, it, it did not came out of nowhere. It was probably sitting on there. That was close. You know? I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer across your path is like getting a message from the universe. Such as? The roads near Woodbury can be, please let me know when you arrive. Thanks. Run away. It should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed down quite a bit. Thanks for checking in. Okay, please confirm when you're in a safe and travel space. All right. Not too bad. I like how, like, nice this feels. Like, this is, like, low-key the chillest episode so far. Dot, dot, dot. Are we even close? Should be about an hour and a half from here. All right, bro. You know. That voice crack. Goodness. Traveling through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through the intergalactic space. That's a sweet way to think about it. Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like stars and galaxies rushing past us. And it's just us on the road too. It's so relaxing. Like, and the music is not copyright too? It's kind of beautiful. Almost as beautiful as you. You better not, bro. All right, it's fading. What we got now? Five fourteen p.m. Such a relaxed episode, I feel. Ooh, this town is so snowed up. We must have been driving for ages. Yo, Harp, check that out. What? What? What are we checking out? What? Mo's Pizza. I I hate pizza. If that's one thing I I want y'all to know about me, I hate cheese and pizza. I hate both. They taste horrible. All right, let's go. You know, Harp, I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. How old is this? These new GPS systems? This must have been like 40 years ago. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. This is a old thing, then. This must have happened decades ago. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. Me too. All right, then, Harp. Operation P Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Alrighty, we can finally move. And there's a gas station. Don't never buy no weed from the gas station, bro. I, if, you, if the nigga ain't in your contacts, don't never go to the gas station, bro. Every time there's been a fierce to fathom. Come in, Harp. Thank you. Every time there's been a fierce to fathom episode, there's always been somebody shady. So I remember all your faces, all of you, in case you do something weird, even you. All right. Evening, folks. Looks like the cold's got everyone pr craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat. I want wings, man. We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. Oh, uh, I'll get Mo's special, pepperoni, and Woody. I don't even know what this is, but it sounds fire. Any drinks for you folks? That should cover us. Just a piece of the day. Thanks. How do you like eat something without a beverage to wash it down? Like, I can't. All right, then. Six hot sauce is coming right up. That'll be 20. Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. What is going on? Okay, so flashback. I can't stand Spider Man. I can't stand him. I hate him. 
straight up! End of flashback. That's literally queso. Are you exhausted and- Okay, I want that off. Yeah, I don't want to watch anymore. Okay, uh, I, I almost got weirded out for a second. Long sniff. It smells so good in here. Long sniff. It smells like pizza, man. I'm not really a fan, but you you, you dragged me out here. Wait. What? Did oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The long and short of it is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate Bro. to leave so late, but I gotta keep them happy. So I have to be left with this buffoon? I have this logo done before you know it, and be on my way. Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. I don't want to be by you by myself, bro. I need another lady with me. Did you listen to voice Noir's voice message in the group? Yep, just saw. Look like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. <laughs> don't like like you don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't. Order number is number. Oh, order number twenty seven. You folks are right here. All right, let me get that. Give me my pizza. Right, folks. You all set. All right. I, I, I could tell. Wait, what? Oh, I thought it, we were getting a whole pizza box. And bro, stop eating so loud. Like, listen to the dude behind me. Listen. Ugh. You look like I can't turn my neck and say something. Ah, uh, she eats loud, too. Oh, damn. This pizza slaps. <laughs> Can't believe Nora's missing out on this bomb ass pizza. I know, right? Uh, these sounds. Eventually. Like, why am I moaning and breathing heavily? Bro. What do you want? Hello there. I saw y'all pull in the drive thru in that nice old truck. Are you watching who pulls in the drink? Takes notes? Not at all, my friend. I just noticed you seem to be heading the same direction I was. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of an adventurer. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. So what do you say? Care to give this old care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Uh no? No? You kidding me? Have you seen the snow out there? You want me walking in the road down this freezing weather? Like I said, no! You ain't too kind, are you? I don't care! You're not- A stranger's not getting with us! Like, I don't know you! Well, that was weird. Definitely. He didn't even order anything. I don't feel bad. I do not feel bad at all because I have a feeling that would have been important later. This is a horror game. Maybe I would have done it in real life, but not in a horror game. Later. Hey, y'all stop eating loud, bro. All right, let me toss this. Drive slow and don't worry. Wait, holy, that was good. Right then, are we ready to hit the road? Or maybe we can beat, we can be, we, maybe we can beat the worst of snow. Give me the keys. Dot, dot, dot. All right, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? I'm driving. Take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid what kind of break are you going to give me, Harp? You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms. When or if we get there. Deal. All right, brother. Ooh, to be driving in a Fierce of Fathom game. She said heart XD heart. All right, let's get into it. Five seventy nine. Uh, I can't, bro. Five forty nine. 
This is your host on WK. Oh yeah, I forgot the radio changes every time you go into a new place. Ah, 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 gotcha, almost, brother. There's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that will make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ed and Alton. Turn that off, I can't lie. I don't want to listen to that right now. I like what we had on before. All right. We should be there almost. Woodbury is to the right, so let's go. Is this not the house? Like, which one is it? I can't really see because there's like no numbers on the side of the houses. Woodbury, Vermont. I wonder if this is a real place. Like, let me search the this. Let, let me, let, let's see. Let's check this out together. Already, we're on the search engine. Now let's search this up. Also, Opera GX, please sponsor me. I'm begging you. Is Woodbury, Vermont real? Oh, it actually is. That's uh, with the population of 928. Is this not the house that we're supposed to be stopping at? That looks exactly like the one I saw. You have 241. Here we are. My legs fell asleep one second. All right, uh, let's get out. Let, let's get out of here. Ooh, this house is big in it. Whoa. Look. Look. Bro. Mike. Did you not see that? Oh, somebody's already in the house, bro. We just started. Oh. Ooh. Hold on. Let me. Eh? Let me change my parking. Hold on. All right, bro. We already have somebody in the house, bro. We just got here. Already dealing with some bull, bro. They're upstairs. We have to search the house thoroughly. Come on now. The door was locked. I had to get the keys from the lockbox. Oh my goodness. So you were supposed to flick it down? I'm just dumb. I didn't even see that switch there the first time. Let me in, man. I'm mad. All right. I forgot my bag outside first. Hold on. Bring it back in. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right. Rather you hit the john. You sick in the motherfucker. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? Should be enough space for the fridge. I got it. Okay, but before anything, let me look upstairs because there was somebody up here. Oh, of course you can't. I need to stock the fridge first. Like, that's my priority. I saw a whole entire person up here. Like, look at this. This is a nice fridge. What the heck? All right, this should be what we need to stock the fridge. Am I right? Had to open Bruh. the fridge first. Bruh. All right. Can I just toss it in there? Like... All right. Is the fridge stock? Can I go upstairs now? I need. What is that sound? What is that sound? What is that? Did you not hear that? A, a car just went off. Why are you following me? Sorry about the harp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that. Pete's really did a number on me. Well, I, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that harp. Can we go upstairs already? Anyway, this place is crazy nice. It got that same rustic charm you just don't see anymore. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. I bet. I couldn't live in a city. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. You can go on ahead. I'll start unpacking your bags. Thanks. I don't know if I want you packing my bags. I might have some stuff in there that I don't want you to see. Bro, why'd you close the door on me? Bro. There's something up here and they won't let me see it. The smell alone told me the pizza had done a number on my... Ugh. Ugh. I'm on his like eight... Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. There's a perfectly... Like, I didn't even look behind it. There's a perfectly sized like sheet that could be covering somebody. Hi, we've checked in. Rick, are you the villain? Get up. Is there anybody behind this curtain? 
Okay. Anybody in this closet? Yes, not. I hate to admit it, but I didn't wash my hands after peeing. Fuck no, baby! You feel much better after the drive? I'm good. Wanna check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place got to offer. After you. Can I wash my hands first? There we go. I didn't even realize you had to wash your hands in this game. Now I look, you feel nasty. Alright. First things first. Upstairs. What is going on in here? We saw somebody. <laughs> Bro, I screamed so loud that my muscles, like. Oh my gosh. I screamed so loud that I felt my heart tighten. Oh. Oh, hey, you're here. You scared us. Oopsie Daisy, I didn't mean to. Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. We're just friends. Oopsie Daisy, silly me. We didn't expect anyone to be here. Uh. Oh, well. Um, I was look looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TV was been on the fritz in here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again, since the last few folks left a bad word about it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. It's very nice. You do not have to scare me though. That was horrible. Dut dut dut. Uh, speaking of that, now that you folks are here, let me show you around my home sweet home, okay? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you a grand tour. Let's do it, bro. Goodness. Host was a middle-aged man with nervous energy. Definitely, that was strange. Right from the service, presence made us uncomfortable. Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Ooh. Oh, this sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry. I'll just get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other room now. We're only going to be here for like, what, three days? Well, two, since we have to leave Sunday, probably. But Ooh, this is a fire bedroom. Look, Carp, this room has a nice-ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. All right. This guy's already giving me bad vibes. I would not be here any longer. You're getting a bad review off rip. Okay, this is where you wash clothes. Ooh. This is so bad. pretty. Like, this is the prettiest fears of fathom ever. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. It's one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing too. Alright, now let's head back before I catch a cold out here again. I would love to be just chilling out here with my bae. You know, just sitting, looking up at the snow. Night on oh, they left me already, bro. Here's your storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. Bad, 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 bad. If the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on my right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Alright folks, let's head downstairs for now. I'm gonna permanently be sus of you and Mike, because I don't trust anybody that comes across my way. This is obviously the kitchen. Alrighty folks, I see you stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. Bills get out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you guys what I better show you folks the water heater. There's water heaters? What is that? I've never heard of that before. This basement looks so freaking scary. But it's so huge. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, where's the water heater? What is this about? Um, nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old storage stuff. If it ever stop working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right back up and you'll be back in business. All right. All right, all right. What are you looking at? Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. I kind of use this baby as storage. Renters don't need the space. They really ought to keep upstairs. 
Okay, well, uh, I was just curious. Let's move on. Nope. Bro. There's, like, there's gonna be a body in there. My he, Mike's, you're gonna end up in there, Mike. I can see it already. What? Why did you stop? Did I mention? Whoa, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from? Well, told me his mom died here. Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. Said they could hear something shuffling around down here. I can't lie. This way you don't buy or rent for a hundred dollars per day. Not to scare you folks, but if I were one of you, I wouldn't step down here. Dot dot dot. Why are you rhyme style? Why are you looking at me like that? Dot dot dot. <laughs> the looks on your faces. <laughs> Come on now. I'm just joking. I I don't I don't think he's joking, man. At this point my creepy meter was playing. Was quite pinging at six out of eight ten. Are you coming, miss? Yeah. Where's Nora? Like, I can't stand this, bro. Alrighty, folks. Snow started to pick up. I'm going to hit the road now. Got to find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. Please go. By the way, what was the name on the booking? I must be getting gold. It's Sydney. Ha! Sydney. That's right. A pretty name for a pretty... Bro! Goodness gracious. Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to go take a quick shower. Somebody's going to be stalking me. He's going to have a security camera in there. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Can we watch like... Can we watch uh, Polar Express? Let me know if you... What it feels like you're under waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Like, if I'm taking a shower this early on in a game like this, I already know... I'm either being stalked or blah, blah, blah. Either the latter. All right. Guess we can just hop in. The shower door was open. Now we can hop in. All right. Let's get it on. Shower's over. What was that? Was that the shower door? Oh my gosh. It's so visceral. All right, I think I'm good to go. Is Nora here yet, bro? Like, where is she? We bought this trip for her to hang out. I don't want just one person that might like me. F what? Hey, Harp, check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. I mean, thanks, I guess. Now that you've mentioned it, that would be a pretty nice and epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's an ro another rod in the shed, so we can both give it a shot. All right, bro. Fishing with the homie? That sounds fire. I wanted to watch something because I'm not a fishing person, but... <laughs> Let's go for it. But first, I want to see if we have, like, any neighbors. Like, can we open this? We can. Oh, my goodness. It's so pretty. This is a fire fears to fathom. Like, I know I've said this is a fire fears to fathom so many times, but like, where ELL put so much time and work in these games, I can see how they do so well. You know what I mean? Do you just want to grab the other fishing rod harp? Yeah, just give me a second. All right. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for baked carp. We need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? Of course I am. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for the carp. Check this information on the information board. Whenever you're ready, grab carp bait and it says it's the creek. We're going to catch some carp, harp. Oh my goodness. This guy is almost as lame as me. Please don't make rhymes with my name. So it looks like the best bait for carp is sweet corn. So let's get that. Throw on hook. We got some corn. I love corn and I love po All right, I guess we chill and fish. Hope those carps are biting today. Yeah, man, we only need three, so that's not that much. Like, is it okay to eat fish that you just caught? Editing pseudo soul here, and since it's uh, on music and whatnot, I just wanted to talk a little bit. As you can see, I've been gone for almost two months. 
Like it's been a month and a half since I've been gone. And I really don't know what happened. One day I just uploaded Wukong and then just I felt so like I didn't want to upload anymore. I don't know why. Maybe because video didn't do as well as my other ones. Maybe something to do with that, but I just didn't feel it. And every time I tried to uh, edit or upload, I just got off like 10 minutes into doing so. But recently I got my flame and my spark back and I'm happy to be editing again. I'm editing longer. I have more ideas, more creative, read more creativity. I've been trying out new things like with color and stuff like that. So I hope to be coming back and putting on a, a good schedule again. I don't want to keep making deadlines for myself because when I don't meet them, I get more stressed out and then things don't go as planned. So that don't make too many deadlines when you're trying to do stuff. Like don't be constantly making deadlines just to rush stuff out that you don't like making. You know what I mean? Cause like this video, it was supposed to be out like what? Two, three weeks ago because I actually played this two, three, three weeks ago, but I didn't really get the courage and strength to edit it because it was just so colossal. Like, it's an hour long. I was supposed to play this three weeks ago, upload it, you know, get it done with, but I didn't. But like I said, I'm going to be coming back more. October, we're going to end this strong. We're going to have this be a strong month for us because there's a lot of games coming out. Amanda the Adventure 2 fear the the fear business we're going to be playing those uh, it's a good month for games this uh this month uh yeah just a little talk and you know hope you all are doing well and enjoying the video but uh pseudo so you take over here all right harper looks like we got three carp do you want to head back and throw these in the oven for dinner let's do that let's go this is gonna be so tasty Where's Nora? I, I, Mike, I need, I need to know. Where's Nora? We haven't seen her at all. What is this ominous sound? Y'all listening to this? Is something going on around me? Cause what is this? Like, what, what is going on? What is this for? Is somebody watching me? There has to be. Because I remember Ironbark look up. There's like tons of like secrets that you could miss all right like it just feels so ominous all right brother what do we have today while i'm cleaning the fish do you mind prepping up the marinade sure just take a bowl and throw ginger paste on it Ah, uh, he said a lot, but we need salt. All right. Wait, we should mix that first yet. We shouldn't mix that. We should like mix the liquid. So we got to start with the yogurt. <gasps> Yo, I just realized. First, we throw in the yogurt. And then we throw in the Italian seasoning. We throw in the ginger paste. And after that, we put in that paprika. Then we get the salt and the black pepper. And lastly, we have the olive oil, extra virgin, just like my. <laughs> there we go. Now, wait, where'd you go? Ooh, this fish is about to be so good. Do you mind throwing the fish and marinade in the can? I hate casserole. Casserole with vegetables and meat is disgusting. It is horrible. And with fish too? Trash! On it. Goodness gracious. Y'all have no taste. I thought y'all were about to start cooking. Like, y'all were about to have actually good stuff. But no. Casserole. We got the fish in here. Got the marinade. And now we need the veggies. Like, bro. Why would you let me do this? Now you can add the veggies. I read it takes, I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Alrighty, here we go. Ugh, you disgust me. All right, guess we can just watch a movie while that goes off. Those carps are gonna taste amazing, I bet. I bet you're gonna love it. I hate casserole though. 
while we wait for it to cook how about we play some games i saw some in the living room next room next to the living room all right i guess we could just grab whatever catch dry can't wait to see what you pick i saw some in the room next to you just said that brother can i close these I, I don't know if i want these open like can i close the blinds i guess i can go look for the thing now but what the oh my goodness he didn't show us this a ouija board oh my goodness can we contact spirits bro wait <laughs> i was about to say catopoly hey mike mike look at this oh snap is that a ouija board molly once told me how she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards i can't stand her spiritual boat hey remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement what if we tried this down there that's an interesting idea let's go this is a crazy idea actually mike i don't i i think i, I don't think i want to do this no more mike 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 watch out for spiders down here i could care less about spiders spiders don't really bite you like that and if they do it just leaves a bump wasn't this like the premise for Until Dawn? Also, y'all heard about that remake? It's gonna be so fire. Alright. You know what will make this even more spookier? All the lights off, I'm guessing. You're just corny like that, aren't you? What can I say, bro? I just know. All right, let's try it. Anyway, do you know how this works, Harper? Nope. So here's how it works. First, we place our finger lightly on the planchette. We have to ask questions and the spirits, if there are any, will move the planchette to spell out the answer. Or at least that's what Molly told me. Oh, okay. One more thing, Harp. Never take your fingers off the planchette until we say goodbye. Otherwise, we might tick off some spirits, she said. Okay. Can I just put it on now? Right then, you go first. You, are you not going with me? That's a dot. Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Yes. Oh. Uh. Uh. What? That doesn't even spell anything out. Are you moving it, bro? It's not spelling anything. Yes. No way. Are you moving it? That wasn't me. Okay. I got one too. Go ahead. Go go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. Like, bro, I'm not trying to get killed by spirits, bro. Come on now. Uh, what is it saying? What is it doing? What is it doing? It's just moving. Bro, what's your name? It's not really showing me an answer. It's just on random spots. The only thing we got for sure was a yes. Hey, my turn. Go for it, brother. Come on, buddy. Give us a sign. Let us know you're here. Oh, this is so ominous. I should have picked Canopoly. Ca Whoa. Whoa. Wait, Mike, Mike, Mike. I'm not usually one that believes in ghosts or spirits. Wait. Mike. Mike. Mike, you good, bro? Mike. Get up, bro. There's some freaky shit going down there, Harp. <laughs> That was weird. The weird part is how you ditched me. This why, that's, bro. This is why you could never have me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you would have moved. Your too. <sighs> would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry. Okay, whatever. Oh, the food's done. We know we were down there for 30 minutes. This food's probably gonna be undercooked and bad. Pull it out, bro. With your bare hands? What are you, Superman? 
With their bare hands? I think our show is about to come on. You want to watch TV while we eat? Sure, let's do it. That is crazy. He touched that with his bare hands and didn't care. This man, Mike, is heat resistant. Okay, now this does look kind of good. This is not the casserole I imagined. Like, let me show y'all a picture of the casserole I imagined. Like, right here. This is what I imagined. Mike, I don't even know. I, I don't even know if I want to watch what we have on TV. I can't lie to you. It's Berlizzi, bro. I don't want to watch this. this I don't want to watch this, bro. This is freaky. Mayonnaise flows down the rivers. Like Listen to him. A mayonnaise water park. So first, we are going to prepare this fish is no. Look at I'm eating a bone off it. No meat. There's no meat on the bones. I suck the meat off. Oh, hey, pause. 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 Simmer in the salt bath. The cocoa beans need to be blended into the. I was done with it, bro. There's literally still the head. Harp, that was some fine damn food. Flavor. Twice as good since we caught the fish ourselves. The it was really good. We, we can make we make a great team, Harp. Hey, anyways, I need to check my emails real quick. That's my laptop Irish upstairs. Toe. Thought you were taking a break from work. Not it's not work. I'm just waiting for shit details like shit. of my DS. Oh my goodness, this is old, old. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll do the dishes then. We, we got it injected with... All right, Berlizzi, I love you, but your show's trash. I can't lie to you. All right. Guess we haven't to do this. Just... All right. Ooh, dishwashing segment. We cleaning. We cooking. We cleaning. Okay, there's definitely going to be something out the window. There's always, like, a little Easter egg in Fears to Fathom. Like, we're, we're going to see somebody walk across the window, like, slowly. And then I'm going to be like, ah! But I never get scared in Fears to Fathom or any game for that matter. Cap. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Are you trying to scare me? Because if you think somebody's under your bed, what do you think I'm going to do? What if they grab my toes and start sucking them, man? Don't make sounds. Walk slow. He's going to jump scare me. You did not get me, bro. You did not get me, bro. I knew you were going to do that. You're not slick, Mike. I knew, like, if I'm anticipating it, then I'm not going to be scared. So, you, you, you just got a blank face, Michael. You look at it and break your nose. My good looks are half my charm, you know. Don't mess them up. Oh, man, I will just... I totally got you. You ain't get me. I knew you would do that. That was fun, wasn't it? It's not cool. Come on. It was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? Next round. How about a game of hide and seek? Fine. I'll get you back for this. All right. You're on. I'll count to 10. Oh, goodness. I got to be fast then. Uh, I decided to hide in the basement. Oh, no, bro. What happens next? Nora, where are you? Mike would suspect that I come down in the basement, though. Like, would he not? Oh, I can hide in here. This is the perfect spot. But he can hear my voice. I need to hide in there later, so I'm gonna remember this spot. Aha, got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I've never found you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. 
All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Mike was hiding. Okay. Uh. Okay, I'll just close my eyes then. One Mississippi. I could just spam this fastly. This man Mike better be in a good spot, bro. What are the chances he's under the bed again? What if he's in the bathroom? Mike! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Mike! Mike, I need you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Mike, I'm gonna get you. Gotcha, nigga! Bruh. Oh, I, I can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> Hang on, Harp. I don't think I heard something from upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? Uh, no? I swear on my left I heard something. I see this attic has access in here. Oh, okay. There's still no Nora. Just saying. Let this be my room. This room is so tough. Are you going to check it out? Why can't you? You're taller than me. Why don't you go? I think, uh... My shoulders are too broad to fit up there. But one of us really should look. Where are you hiding these broad shoulders, Mike? Seriously, Sydney. I don't think I would fit through. All right, Mike. Use that step stool behind you and climb up. Mike making me do all the work, bro. Making me catch the fish. Making me cook. Making me wash dishes. Like, bro. This guy's a bum. No way there's more hiding spots. What's up here, man? Probably a raccoon or something. Ooh. Whole another area. So that's where the cat was. Hi. Your owner was looking for you, man. You're so cute. Look at you. You have heterochroma. That's also pretty rare. Nope. Nothing. Just a cat. Just follow me, brother. Mike, it was just a cat. Sydney, are you okay? What was up there? Uh, looks like you're... Uh, dot, dot, dot. What do you mean by that? It was just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. Yep, I think she was hungry. She probably been up there for a while. Oh, yeah? Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I fi come and find you again. Alrighty. What are the chances that I hide in the same spot and he doesn't get me? Like, hiding in the tool shed? Okay, it's kind of cold out there. That's kind of risky. And wouldn't he know if the door was locked? I like, listened to the music. Where in the tool shed can I hide? There's like nowhere to hide. Oh, he's coming out. The blinds are open slightly. Mike, you're not catching me. Micah. Micah. Whoa! Whoa! Nope. 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 Aha, there you are. Mike, there's somebody in the house. Mike, there's somebody in the house. I, I had to leave. Mike was looking for me. There's somebody in the house, Mike! Mike! Listen to me! No, it took me a while to figure out where you left. A while for while you left the house. Anything worth doing is well doing. My turn. Close those pretty. Bruh. Mike, stop flirting! I'm getting tired. Look out high in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. Oh, bro, let me in! You better close your eyes like I did. Oh my goodness, bro. Ready or not, here I come. I'm so sick of this guy, bro. There's an intruder in our house. Where are you? 
What is that sound? What is that? Mike, are you in the attic? I'm terrified, y'all. That didn't even scare me, bro. What's going on? What happened? This guy was just beating on that. Bro, why are you in the house like this? What happened? What's going on? Well, hey there. What are you doing with that hammer? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? Uh, you should have said something, but hey, got to calm down. You should have told us. Hiss, this is my house. I need to check in with you every time I fix something. Bro. I've never seen anyone with the faucet. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with the hammer before. Me neither. You ever fix me faucets yourself, young man? Hey, didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. Isn't this late for you? No trouble for me at all, miss. I'm get. I'm right around the block. I told you I'll get this sink fixed for you real soon. Uh, look, we need to go to bed now. You asked me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being played. We rent this house, but we'd like to have it to ourselves. I don't. I we don't really want to have any. We really don't want to have call law enforcement. Mike, let me handle this. That's a duck. Ain't no cops in Wood. Very son. You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing a faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Bro, this is shady. I just want to get sleep, man. Let me slap the back of your hair real quick. All right, bro. Uh, let me open the door for you because I don't want to see your face. Please stay out. Don't call me if it starts leaking again. Oh, it just cut to dark. I didn't even know it would do that. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making an excuse to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was probably weird. We decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. That's fine, but Nora's not here. And I have an issue with that because she said she would be here by now. Nora! That should be Nora. Just in case. I have to open it because they won't like... Who is it? I almost... Bro! <laughs> that is terrifying! I, I, I had, I was lost. Like, there was nothing I could say. Harper, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. What's up, brother? Share your thoughts, man. Like, look at the snow. It's so pretty. I love snow. What do you want to talk about, brother? The storm is starting to get really bad. I can see, I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here too. Keep you safe. That's nice of you, Mike. Hey, it's no problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? I mean, yeah? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This isn't exactly how I thought our getaway would go, Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He... <laughs> He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He should just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. I mean, the guy's probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. You've also been a little difficult to deal with. Yeah, I'm frustrated too. That guy has been annoying me. You haven't been as bad. You cooked me food, helped me out. You, you've been a good friend for the most part. 
Uh, it'll help if we both get some sleep. That's all you wanted, Mike? Whoa. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Okay, what's up? Dot, dot, dot. Harp, you know? Dot, dot, dot. I've missed this. Us. Just talking. It's been too long. You know. You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Like, Mike, I need you to go back, man. Please. This can't happen. I definitely rejected you in the past. You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I do remember it really well. I remember it being pretty awkward. What happened on our trip to Oregon, Mike? I, I like to hear. Oh, yeah, do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. Nora, I love you. Thank you. They sure. Guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Not a thought. What did Nora have to say? Guys, I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury. 70! My stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing and I'm on the side of the road on high 70. Oh them. my goodness, this is why I don't want to be left alone road. with this dude. Hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. Oh the my goodness. Like I, I am not going to be able to live this, bro. <laughs> I drove away the only person ask, who could be able to have a key to this place. Ah. Uh, what timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Yes, let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. Da, da, da. No, Sydney, you stay here, get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our ass off. That's really nice, Mike. Please get the fuck out the house, please. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. Goodness gracious, bro. I'll open the door. Bro, we'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you really feel like we have to. Goodness gracious, bro. I'll let that dude. Man. Let me go to bed, bro. I couldn't have gone to bed without locking the front door. Oh, I'm locking the front door. I'm locking the front door. He might be flirting with Sydney, too. Like, think about it. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Yeah, I think I'll crash for a bit. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back, I kind of need one right now. I don't want to hug this dude. Not now, Mike. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. Mike. You might be an interesting fellow, but you're not getting a hug after that, bro. It's just crazy, bro. I thought Mike was going to be our friend for a little bit. Well, at least I know that the history behind them. Yeah, they did a little, you know, you know. And then Mike, I guess, fell in love with me. And then, yeah. Let me get some sleep, though. I told myself things would get better if I got some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up when I'd me up, and I needed it more by the minute. With her roaring soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. That's a fears of fathom game. It's not going in that easily. It's not going to be like that. What? What is it? Are they here now? In seventy miles? Okay. I can't see a car. What is going on? Someone's at the front door. Okay, who's at the front door? Can I check? The realization that somebody was... Yeah, okay. No. 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 That's that. that. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. Oh. Hello? Look, friend. I know it ain't not deal banging on your door in the middle of the night. But I'm in a bad spot here. I was going to continue riding from some friends, but they are running behind and won't be here for about two more hours. You're not coming in. End of story. Not to die. Are you fucking kidding me? You're going to let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be a big... 
I should have known you'd be as big a bitch here as when you were at the pizza joint. Dot dot dot. You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fishing in the creek earlier? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time. But it looks like you're still unkind. Get out or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see a fella's truck out here uh, either. I'm dialing what, bro? Leave! I'm dialing 911 right now. Fine. Dot dot dot. Suit yourself. I'm not letting him bust in the door at all. I'm hiding. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming to you after leaving me out here. Come as a bitch, my friend. The doorman seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. And I'm not even trying to be mean, but that's so shady. Like, he was stalking me twice. I'm not letting him get the chance. I'm going to sleep, though. So weird. Oh my gosh, I'm not sleeping this time. If I hear a glass break, yep, get, get up. Get up, bro. I have no choice but to answer it, bro. Like, I literally have no choice. Is the door open? Bro, what? Uh, open door. Despite how strange we could have been. What the hell is going on here? Oh, thank God I'm glad you're here. Bro, I'm not really happy you're here. I don't see anything. Explain the situation, dot, 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 dot. Yeah, it came as quickly as it could. Dot, dot, dot. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. Dot, dot, dot. Because I have to worry about you, don't I? Right? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier. He should be back soon. He just went to the store. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now. Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. What, what are you looking around for, buddy? You give a guy an inch, he takes a mile. I'm hiding. You give a guy an inch, he takes a mile. I have no choice, bro. I'm ready to hide. Dot, dot, dot. Storm like this all brings out all kinds of folks. Dot, dot, dot. Not all of them know when to stay away. All right, bro. How am I not supposed to seem suspicious of this guy? Come back over. What do you mean I live in Burlington? I haven't. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. It's awful late for texting, is it? Uh, it's my friends. They're almost here. Is that so? Uh, you can head back if you want. You you can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything is okay. Uh, bro, why would I say any of these? Who are you? What did you say? That's a that. That's a that. This is my fucking house. I'll leave when I want to. You need to leave right now. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. Oh my gosh.
please. Yep, I'm cooked. No! Stop! Please! 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 Stop! Hey. Oh, bro! Like, where am I supposed to go? Out the window? Like, where? Oh, I know, I know. I think we're good now. I think I can talk. Oh my goodness, that was actually terrifying, bro. He shouldn't be able to get me now. He shouldn't be able to get me. 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 Bruh. Oh my gosh, what the? What was that? Yeah, yeah, the homies is here. Me, <laughs> uh, Rick. Is he gone? Is he? I'm moving so slow. Oh my goodness! Wait, are my friends here? What? Bro. Oh! Oh my goodness. No! Absolutely terrifying. Fear of Fathom is a peak series. Told them everything that happened after Mike left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen, as all stories go. When I drive back, the whole night played over in my head. We think that man we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it wasn't being used. And planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rika asked me what the man looked like. And after he didn't ask any more questions, we think he knew more than he was letting on. When in the end, he gave us a full refund. Absolutely terrifying, bro. This game, like, Fears of Fathom is so awesome. Ray LL is always cooking. That's what I'm talking about. This shit means something to me, man. Oh my goodness, that was such a fire episode. As always, uh, Ray LL always stays cooking. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoyed my video. If Fears of Fathom would better get away. 
I've been waiting for this game for a long time and it was really worth it. This was the most atmospheric Fears to Fathom. Like with the winter stuff, this was such a good pick. Sydney had a good story and I hope she's doing okay right now. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And my name is Sudoso.